midnight. Hey everybody, it's Diamonds for Days, and today I'm going to be playing Tenome. Um, this is the fourth time I've tried to do this. Unfortunately. This is a good game and all, but I've experienced troubles with my recording software. So, which... Where am I going? School entrance. Okay. This is... This game was made in 40... Uh, in a 48-hour game jam. So, for what it is, it's pretty good. Good ambiance. Scary monster that we'll find later. And it's... Well, it's a short game. Now, here we're gonna go to the entrance. Door's locked. We gotta find the key. Uh... That is the monster. Let's run over here. Wow, it's gone. Who would have thought? The key will always be on one of these. So you can play this game for yourself. It's kind of spooky. There's a mechanic that... If you run too much, you actually get into some trouble. Hello. I think he's going upstairs. <gasps> nope. So his eyes is how he sees. His eyes, yeah, obviously. No, his hands is how he sees. So. A little wonky with how he moves. Actually, I think he's coming back. Yep. Do not go through this fucking door. Oh yeah, I can also change your brightness, but we're, we don't play like that. Alright, so he's on the second... ...story. You don't want to get... When you know he's around, you gotta be careful. For a few reasons, because this man will actually teleport if you get too far. So, when you get far enough you can't hear him, you have to be on your toes 24-7. Um, I've walked into one of these rooms and died, just shit my pants and died immediately. Because he was right there. And he... Excuse me? Red or blue? I don't know. And you also got these obstacles which you can't get on. Can't jump very high. I think I just heard him run. Bunch of cleaning chemicals. Yeah, you got this. Hello. Uh, no. How about you don't? All right, so we fully looped. So that means it has to be on the second story. And these stairs are... I think those... The whispers there... I mean he's... I believe they mean he's nearby. So this is starting area. Make some distance. But not so much here. Changes location. This is the room where it fucked me. I... Don't know if where the key spawns is randomly generated. You'll you'll see it right away. <laughs> yeah, it, he does that. He does that, <laughs> which is quite irritating. But this is a good game nonetheless, and we. It was made in 48 hours, so of course it's not going to be bug-free, it's not going to be perfect. In, in that sense, I'm going to 
ignore the fact that that happens. Overlook it. So you get the kind of just seeing what you've already seen. You can probably tell what kind of game this is. Um, it is it. The unfortunate thing is, because this is the fourth time of me doing this, which before I was getting interrupted, and last time I did it, uh, my recording just didn't record the video properly. Um, so I'm a little... He, he's not scary to me anymore. But at first, I was literally... Screaming. I was right there. I'm just gonna run by. Alright, it's not on that. I do not believe it will be on one of the desks. I don't think so. But like I said, you gotta be careful. Because that one room that he spawned on me, that. I think it was a nurse, nurse's office, or something like that. That one room is the only spawn I'm aware of. But that doesn't mean there's not more. Okay, just gotta be careful. You don't want to run too much, but you don't want to run too little. Because if you run after so much running... I don't know where he is, I'm just going to run. Are you shitting me? I'm dead. Alright, I'm going to lose him right here. This is a guaranteed loss of him, I believe. I don't see him. Yet. It's when you have when you're just walking through these halls, it's, he's not a Are you shitting me? Is he right there? Yep, he is, of course. I don't know why some of these you can look through, but others you can't. It's kind of weird, but that's alright. Again, this game is made in 48 hours, so what, for what it is, it's pretty decent, honestly. Like, the ambiance, when I first was playing it, it got to me like I was... I wasn't... I was filled with a little bit of dread, honestly. got to fucking... Am I going to see you do it? I don't see the key in here, so I'm not going to even bother rather not have my ass eaten today. Oh, hello. Don't clip into the fucking thing, please. Thank you. So this is a good test. Hey, dumbass! Hey, you! Actually, I, I probably should not be tempting fate like that. And the key is right here. You want to not do that? Please, thanks. At this point, you want to just run. Now, when you... You have to use your inhaler, you do get really slow, and you stand still for quite a minute, taking it. You want to look around, then see if he's in the area. If he is, um, hopefully he's not so close. And if he's not, you're probably fine. Alright, and here's the ending. Look, no monster. There he is. Bam. They're dead. Um, th this playthrough for me, what you've seen here, isn't very genuine because I've had to record this four different times. Like I've already said. 
It's a good game. For a 48-hour uh, game jam, this game was actually spectacular. I've seen way worse coming out of these 48-hour game jams. Two days is not a lot of time. Especially in game design. Um, for what it is, this is actually pretty good. The ambiance is on point. The monster is actually scary. Uh, I mean, the mechanic, it's used in a lot of games, so, I mean, it gets a little stale, but I like the way they did it, um, because a lot of games will make it random, where it's, I like how it's in one set point. So, if you enjoyed this video at all, uh, I, I know it's not exactly a let's play, more of a walkthrough, but if you enjoyed it at all, please like, comment, subscribe, what, excuse me, whatever, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. See you guys.